Hey everybody, Aaron Hawaii here, and today I'm going to show you how to set up your chessboard with a clean presentation if you want to start streaming chess on Twitch. Now, obviously, my overlay is a little nuts, uh, but you don't have to do it that way. We're just going to show you how to create a clean presentation of your board and any other information that you want to show during your streams. So here we go. So, first thing first, we're going to show you how to do it in Streamlabs OBS, which is what I use to broadcast with. But it should still work if you're using any other OBS products in pretty much the same way. Now, as a side note, you can ignore this first source here that says Display Capture. That's just so I can show you what I'm clicking uh, to demonstrate what's going on in here. OK, so before we get started, let's get my face in here. I'm going to grab a video capture. And I'm going to add a source. And then I'm going to grab, yep, there's my webcam right there. If you have to add it, just give it a title. Click Add New Source and find your webcam. Since I've already got mine in here, I'm just going to add the existing source, which is my webcam with green screen. And click Add Source. Hello, here I am. OK. I'm going to drag this off to the side for the rest of this demonstration. All right. So now we want to get our chessboard in here. That's fairly simple to do. So you're going to want to grab uh, a new source by clicking the plus here by sources. And you're going to look for window capture. This is what I think is pretty much the fastest way to go about it. So click window capture and then click add source. All right, now let's go ahead and name it something that we're going to remember like chessboard. Simple. Click add new source. And then in the properties window that pops up, make sure that it's pointed at the correct application first, which is for me, Firefox, live chess, chess.com. Boom. Great. Now it's going to default to window title must match. I get a lot of questions about, oh, I did the thing, but the next time I came on my stream, the board didn't show up. Well, here's a couple tips. First, set this to the next option, match title, comma, otherwise find window of same type. That way, if for whatever reason the window's somewhere else or it's titled something different, uh, it'll still probably find the window that you're looking for. And you can leave the capture cursor or you can get rid of it. I like to leave it just because sometimes I use it to demonstrate things during my stream. And then click Done, and there you go. I suggest that you don't have live chess in here with a bunch of other tabs, but instead grab that tab and make it its own window. Get rid of the other tabs that you don't need and just have the chessboard. OK, so now that we've gotten rid of all those tabs and our chessboard's in its own browser window, we are going to scale it up. Now, you've got these contact tabs that you can grab these little points that are either on the sides or the corner. And uh, you can just grab any of those, and it's going to resize everything to maintain the same ratio. OK, now we want to go ahead and crop. And here's how we're going to do it. Before you click one of those contacts on the sides, hold the Alt key on your keyboard. And then click and drag. And you're going to be able to crop what's shown. Let go of both keys and then hold Alt again. Now I'm going to grab the bottom edge, click and drag. All right. Now the left side, holding Alt and dragging. Let go and the right. Look at that. Now we've just got the board. Awesome. I'm going to hide my toolbar here so we can just see what we're looking at. All right, Dragging it. And now without holding Alt, you can grab a corner and pull it to make the board bigger again. Awesome. OK. So next, let's decide if there's anything else that we want to display. Now, this is where things can get a little complicated. But if you stay with me, you'll, uh, you'll have it pretty awesome. So let's say I want to grab uh, my timer. Now, there's a couple ways you can do this. You could just create another window capture layer and then just crop again down to your timer. Or you can duplicate the one that you've already created, open it up and find your timer, and then crop it back down. I'm going to show you how to do it that way. So we're going to uh, show you my display capture again. And I'm going to click the. Uh, chessboard, right click on that, and then I'm going to find copy. 
And then I'm going to right click again, same place, and I'm going to paste duplicate, which will be at the top. Okay, so now I've got a duplicate, but what I don't want to do is uh, have it still called chessboard because it's not. It's going to be my timer. So right click it, hit rename, and rename it something like, I don't know, my timer. <laughs> there you go. All right, now here's the problem, and I'm going to hide my display capture again for just a moment. I've got two boards now. So what I'm going to want to do is grab that second board, which is actually my my timer layer, and open it up a little bit. The easiest way to do that is to go ahead and scale it back down so it's small. All right, and then we're going to do the same trick we did before, but we're going to crop out instead of in. So holding Alt and clicking one of the side contact points, we're going to find our timer. Boom, there it is. And then just rough crop it back down to where it's manageable. And pull the side there. All right. Letting go of Alt so that it scales constrained, right? I'm going to grab our timer there. And now we're going to fine tune that crop. So I'm going to grab and holding Alt before I click and drag. I'm just going to get the dimensions of the timer the way I want it. And last side. Perfect. OK, now do I want it that big? Probably not. So now that I'm not holding Alt, I'm just going to scale it back down to a size that I like. I'm going to place it where I want it, and then lock the layer. And there you go. You can add the opponent's timer as well if you like. Now here's a quick tip in case you want to fine tune the placement of different objects in your layout. So let's say you see how the timer is not quite in line with the bottom of the board. What if you really want it to be pretty much perfect? Well, what you can do is with your timer layer selected, you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard, and of course, make sure that your layer is unlocked, and tap to bump it down one pixel at a time until it's where you want it. You can click off the side to see, oh, we're almost there, a couple more bumps. Eh, went too far. Click back up one bump, now that's looking pretty good to me. We're going to lock that layer, and there you go. Click all the locks and make sure they're locked up. And by the way, if you don't know what these are, these are ways that you can hide and show certain things. All right, so now we've got a board, we've got a timer. If you want the opponent's timer, you basically do the same process, but for the opponent's timer that you'd find on top. Uh, and there you go. You want to add a background image? Great. Let's click, uh, let me show you this one more time. Boop. Okay, now you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to add another source. And this time I'm going to grab an image. And I'm going to click Add Source. And we'll, uh, we'll grab a background image of some kind. How about, I'm going to grab this tropical background here. Okay. And now obviously this is above my board, and I don't want that. So I'm going to bring this up front so you can see what I'm doing here. Here's my background image. I'm going to drag it all the way to the bottom so that it's on the back layer. And then we're going to hide this for your education. I'm going to grab my image layer. And I'm going to grab that contact point. And I'm just going to stretch it all the way until I have a background image. And there you go. Piece of cake. Now, this is maybe going to illuminate some things. So see how at the top edge of the chessboard now, there's a little black strip where we didn't quite get the crop perfect? No problem. Just grab your chessboard again, unlock, and holding Alt, we're just going to crop that down a touch more to make it really clean. All right, looks good. I'm going to lock that layer again, and we're in business. There you go, guys. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe here on YouTube and check out some of the links in the description for all kinds of other stuff like my live Twitch streams, Twitter, and yada yada. See ya.